Hey guys and welcome to my channel and this video this is the last tutorial from the simple for all series that I have done for past couple of weeks so all the other tutorials you can find linked down in the description box all the materials I will be using for this painting are also listed down in the description box together with my affiliate links so if you're interested in any particular supply you can find it there I'm starting with preventing the petal, shape of petal and petals I'm painting in shape of teardrops, just reversed. And first one I started with just a water that it's actually dirty. My brush is still dirty from mixing my paints. I have mixed some Venetian red, violet and a brown color to get this beautifully rich dark pink violet color and the lower part of the petals I want to paint darker and the upper part of the petals I'm painting lighter. Now I'm painting two other petals and these one are something like a curved shape. These are not in a teardrop shape but just curved shape. Those are the lowest petals. Now painting petals in between those and a little bit more again in the same shape in between them. Petals that I'm painting right now are going to be the one that are behind, that are on the other side of the flower. So just keep in mind about the perspective. This is how you will be creating perspective. These look like they are behind because I haven't painted the entire petal. I have left it looking like there is some part of the petal missing when you look at it. And also petals that are behind, just leaving the lower part because there is the place where I will be painting the center and the entire petal isn't visible because there is a center in between. Again, adding a little bit more of the pigment in the lower part of the petals where they are darkest. Now I have picked up some raw sienna and painting in the center, also adding just a little bit of the brown and I have added also a little bit of the yellow in the upper part of the center, lower part of the center is a little bit darker and upper part a little bit lighter because the lower part is slightly in shadow. With mix of dark brown from Etcher palette and green. I have painted in the stem. Now adding a little bit more of the details to my petals. I thought they would look nicer if I just make them slightly larger so I decided to add that. Also for a nicer composition I added a couple of more smaller flowers and this time I wasn't trying to paint any particular shape. I have curved them and paint them in a half circle. Just adding an upper part, some petals looking like flowers and not trying actually to paint any particular shaped flower. Couple of splatters with the same color I painted my flower and then added a little bit more water to my brush to get a little bit lighter splatters with Mars Brown and then later on some green I'm painting in some leaves and also just tapping in with the tip of my brush to paint those. I don't want them to be any special and particular shaped leaves. These are loose flowers, simple flowers, so we do want to keep it simple. Right now with some yellow, this is actually a raw sienna, I'm painting in a little bit more of the flowers, this time yellow flowers and now connecting all of them with a stem using dark brown. A couple of grasses in a lower part and also I decided to do one more yellow flower and adding some brown to it and again a couple of details to the other flowers, a couple of splatters and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. This is very simple flowers. I hope you like these. They might look a little bit more difficult than they are. Just keep in mind the shape and the perspective. I hope you like this video guys. If you do please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel. That really mean a lot to me. Maybe consider joining my channel. That's a show next to the subscribe. 
And if you do love this video and want to say thanks, there is also a new feature to my channel. You can now leave a tip. Just click on that button and see more info. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.